saying hello? Can I say hello today? Why are you shouting at me? Is it because I've been ignoring you while I've had my makeup do being done? I've been doing my makeup. And she's like, Mother, please give me the attention I so crave and deserve. I love you. I do. I love you. Pretty girl. What's all the lights? Huh? What's all the lights? Are you gonna do a film? Hello everybody, it's Kaya, I think, and I am making a video. I have done something experimental with my makeup today. I don't think that we've ever done makeup quite like this. I think Nina maybe explored something similar, but Mara was involved when I was putting this on. We were rapid switching for a little while before I decided to film. Um, we're actually feeling pretty sick, but I'm dissociating from it, so it's a, a good as time as any to film. But I wanted to film something about... Okay, so <laughs> my train of thought is not, it's, it's, it's not co cooperating. Balls. My train of thought is not cooperating. So you may be able to... Wow. You may be able to tell that I'm dissociated in this video different kind of dissociated to like super super floaty although I am floaty but it's also the kind of like uh, feels like a big like metal shutter door just coming down on your thoughts over and over and over again and everything just stops making sense for a minute um in a different way than normally just losing my thoughts hold on What am I talking about? Ah, yes, okay, so there's gonna be some videos coming about like well, where I wanna take the channel and what we want to do with the channel and I, I guess just what you can expect. So if you're interested in that, just wait for it, it's coming. Whatever, we're gonna roll with it. Maybe I should just make this video about different types of dissociation. But what I actually wanted to talk about was the buddy system method. So I was speaking to a system friend of ours recently about improving communication and stuff in systems where you may not have, you're not super able to tell who's fronting when or who's close by and you don't necessarily have a direct line of contact with a lot of alters, if any and that can make internal communication a lot more difficult also if you know you've left a note up somewhere somebody's seen it and taken it down but then that hasn't reached the person it needs to reach or something the buddy system method can help i genuinely don't remember if somebody else came up with this idea and we made a video about it it's like fluff floating in front of my eye i genuinely don't remember if someone else made this concept idea and we made a video about it or if we made it up ourselves and made a video about it so I'm not going to claim for that reason I'm not going to claim ownership of this idea because I genuinely don't remember where it came from but I do remember talking about it a little bit in our internal communication video that we did. So the concept of the buddy system method is that every system member... Hi, baby. Yeah, meow, meow. What is it? Where's your good girl? You stay with me. Okay. So the idea of the buddy system method is that every alter has a buddy in the system. So, for example, I know me, sweet good girl. I'm giving more attention to the internet. So every alter in the system hopefully has at least one other alter that they can communicate with. So that would be their buddy. If you have multiple alters you can communicate with, even better, that's fantastic. But let's stick to one or two buddies per alter. So for example, let's say the host can communicate with one protector, even a little bit, that will be their buddy. If they then, good girl. So if the host needed to get information to, say, a persecutor that might be further away or lower down in the system, is how we like to call it, 
then they're not going to be able to do that themselves. But they can pass a message along to their protector or whoever it is that they have communication with. That protector or alter will then have communication with one other person, their buddy, or potentially two other people, their buddy. And by passing it along, it works like a game of telephone. So no matter who in the system you're trying to get a message to, it can be passed along like a game of telephone. Doesn't mean that the message is gonna be exactly the way it was intended to be passed on. It might sound completely different, but hopefully the idea, it's better than nothing, you know? It's better than nothing. The idea hopefully will translate at least. So host passes it to protector, protector passes it to their buddy, let's say a different protector, protector passes it along to another altar, altar passes it along to the persecutor who needed to get the message. And then to get the message back to the host, persecutor will pass it on to their buddy, which might not be the same, like buddies might not have the same buddies. So communication can go one way. It might be that um, one protector has one way communication with one altar. So the protector can communicate with them, but they can't communicate back, for example. In that situation, then obviously this altar over here would have their own buddy. So it would go back to that buddy, who would then do it to their buddy, blah, 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 blah all the way along. Hopefully, not only does that help increase communication in general because you're learning and getting used to, okay, well, I need to communicate with this altar, I need to pass this message on. You're getting used to seeking out altars, finding them and improving the way that communication is working. Kind of like if you've driven a certain path, let's say from home to work a lot of times, it becomes easier and easier to do it. You have to think about it less and less and less because it almost becomes autopilot, becomes simpler. You know where you're going, you know what you're doing, it's easier and done. It's the same concept with this. That can be a really simple and easy way to help build it up. It's not ideal. It's worked for us in the past and it's also helped us sort of map out a system a little bit, especially in the beginning when Chloe was trying to figure out what was going on, who's involved, who are these names that I'm hearing that I don't actually have faces to connect to. So if you were to create maybe like a mind map of alters, that would be an easy way to get an idea of who's in your system to map out a system. So let's say you start with the host at the top. I'm gonna to move to the side and we'll see if we can fit something in over here. So let's say we've got the host at the top and then their buddy is a protector. The protector might have two buddies. So alter one over here. Alter one has a buddy who will go over here. Alter two will have a buddy which will go over there. You get it? So when people are feeding back to you, okay, well my buddy will be X person in the system. You can write it down on your mind map or that alter when they front can write it down on that mind map. And then at least you'll get an understanding of, okay, names. I know X has communication with X. In order to get X information to X information, here is how we're gonna need to work it through the system. It's complicated, it's not easy, it can be stressful, but if you're really needing to get information somewhere, it's good to have that as like a blanket, safety blanket at least. And it is a good exercise for improving your communication, in our opinion. It worked for us, but um, at this point we have pretty good communication, or at least we did before Nin and Kyle integrated into me, Kaya. Um, and since then the system has kind of, well, a lot of changes happened in 2020. We had more than one fusion. Um, I think we had three fusions and a lot of new alters appearing. We've had an alter appear, as two alters appear actually within the last couple of weeks as well. Um, so everything is very, very different. Different alters have had to step up to fill Kyle's role or parts of Kyle's role as primary protector. We don't have one solid primary protector anymore. We have a lot of alters who take on different parts of the role. And I still do a fair amount of that kind of stuff, but not all of it because I can't, as host, I can't do it all. So I hope that this explains that method a little bit more. We might even make some like we were planning on doing this for ourselves anyway to help kind of rediscover the system as it is now, especially with the new subsystem. 
um, which isn't really new. It's just <laughs> newly made aware to me, the host, but Kyle knew about it for many years before I was here as Kaya. So we were thinking of making some exercise sheets to like fill out for the buddy system method and stuff like that. Um, potentially we could make some kind of workbook or something like that with stuff that's worked for us with internal communication, external communi communication, system mapping, inner world system mapping, um, system rules, that kind of stuff. There's stuff like that that you can find online already. I know there's some kind of system workbook out there and I've seen a couple of other like journals for DID systems and things like that. We've never used any ourselves because we've always made them. We've had like a number of different versions and they're set up for what works best for us. But we've had other people be like, oh, can you, you know, show us how you've made this or can you, you know, create a fill, up, fill outable version, you know, like a one that can be used for other people. So while we're doing that, we might make some like PDFs or some kind of like little workbook or something if that would help people. But it is set up for what works for us. So I don't actually know whether that would really be helpful for anybody else. But uh, the idea is there. For me, specifically me, I find it easier to visualise things if I have somewhere I can write down, like, or illustrate what I'm talking about. So having it down on paper and making mind maps and stuff like that really helps. There's some, like, software that you can get for mind maps and stuff too, like free software. Um, our therapist asked for, you know, like, a list or a mind map of the basic alters in our system and also like the fusions and uh, splits that have happened and we just used a, the free software online that we found I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head Mind Genius or something like that so if you want to do it that way and not pen on paper there are ways to do it but yeah I would recommend writing it down whether actually physically writing it down or using some technology to do it what are you doing? Serafina? What are you doing? What are you doing, baby? What was that noise? What's all that noise? You stay here where I can see you until I'm done, okay? Good girl. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up because she... She's called Zoomies and she's getting into trouble. So uh, I need to go cat sit. But yes, there will be some introductions for alters coming soon because I've seen a lot of people asking for updates on like, I'm coming. Look for updates on uh, like what's happening with the system, like who who's here and who's not here anymore. So we're only gonna do what we're comfortable and safe with. I'm not gonna sit down and do like a meet everybody. Here's a list of everyone in our system because it's just not safe. Um, I, She's gonna give me a heart attack. We wouldn't recommend anybody do that. Especially we see some people giving out lists when they're describing alters like lists of triggers. Very dangerous. Big, do not recommend you do that. Um, it is like writing out a, a list of how to manipulate you. So be very careful if you're doing stuff like that. I'm not sure how I got on that topic. Anyway, yes, hope this helps. Let us know what you want to see from us and we'll do our best. Sorry for the super dissociated video. I'm gonna go look after our cat. Oh, and we saw some comments being like the bell on her collar could damage her ears. That's been gone um, not not that long after we uploaded the video actually. So um, she's, she's fine and safe. Thank you for the advice. Um, and yeah, we'll see you soon. I hope that you guys are doing good and I've forgotten the outro. Lots of love everybody. <laughs> Bye.